How do you do that? That's how you do it. It's so simple. It's so easy. <laughs> Wild greens you can put in your green smoothie that are delicious, nutritious and most of all free. I'm going to show you exactly how to find an excellent wild green that you can use in all of your dishes, cooked and raw. Come on. This plant, which is called Malva, usually grows on roadsides. You'll find you might find it in your garden as well. Where's the fawns monster? I don't know. Oh man. Okay, so we have tons of malva here, literally loads of it. You just want to be careful where you're picking it guys. Just make sure, do you know, where we live is pretty incontaminated and just be careful where you're picking it. If you're picking it from a roadside, don't pick it from the busiest roadside in the world and wash it well. Okay, what does malva look like? Come and see. I've you can see this plant here. I'm actually going to take the whole plant. There you go. <laughs> it's so slippy. This is the thing about this plant. I think it's also called the marshmallow plant. But malva, historically, is a plant that actually the Romans used to eat quite frequently. Um, it was like their superfood, their super green. And it's one of these plants that is also really good for any sort of uh, respiratory symptoms uh, so it's a good lung cleanser and um, it's also good for cleaning out your sinuses and all these things and it's also a natural laxative so if you're constipated you can make a tea you can put it in your smoothie and your soups and it's just a really all good round plant and it has it produces I can feel it now when I cut the plant it produces this um, Slippery, uh, what is that word? Much, much I don't, I don't know the word, I don't know the word. It, basically, it's like a sort of gel, like a slimy, it thickens things. So you can put it into your food and thicken things up, like soups and stews and stuff. Um, but it, that's hence the reason why it's good for us, because it actually creates like a protective barrier within the stomach. It's good for your digestion. This is a superfood. It is going to be way more nutritious than anything that you buy in a supermarket. Most of you know that things have been sitting there literally for about, I think, three weeks sometimes even in plastic packaging. This has just been picked. I'm going to put it in my smoothie. And how do you do that? That's how you do it. It's so simple. It's so easy. And I suppose most people are a little bit afraid of eating wild greens, but this is a superfood is good for us and remember it is going to be way more nutritious than uh, most things you eat because you know the root system of these plants is so deep can you imagine how many molecules of nutrition of uh, magnesium potassium all of these things that we need this little baby has I'm talking millions and zillions so before you do go to the supermarket and buy that little iceberg lettuce, think about picking a few wild greens. I'm done. I'm gonna have my green smoothie in private. I'm not gonna film it for you today.